And now the big guns. This is a Max Edition pocket organizer. This is the mini pocket organizer. This is in the smallest. They have a micro. So on this thing, this rides in the cargo pocket. I wear 511 Tac Light Pro pants, and those have the cargo pockets on them. So usually I'll slip it in a cargo pocket. When I'm wearing jeans, the S beaner up top there, that'll just clip it right to, you know, like a belt loop, uh, right near my uh, my skimp sheath where I've got my Leatherman riding and usually just ride there no problem. It'll go in a hoodie pocket, a jacket pocket. Sometimes it'll go in the bag, but I've actually got some redundancy on the bag. So let's pop it open and see what we've got here. On the front, I've got a little County Com razor. These razors are, man, these things are sharp like a scalpel. These are great to have. It's weightless, can't tell it's there, just tuck it in the front. And there's all the stuff in there. Carry some safety pins, so those are always useful. You can use one as a needle, you can use them to hold a tear together, that kind of thing. Got an Uncle Bill's tweezer here. Very light and simple. Really try to shave weight off everything I can. You add up everything and you, you can really build it up, so try to go as light as possible with everything. These are just simple, springy. They clip right in there. So this rides really nice in the little bungee pocket there. I don't have to worry about it. Got a twist tie in here. I got a little piece of, a um, little short length of silver wire. The strands can come apart. I don't know if the camera's showing it there. But that's useful in certain applications. Oh, we got the nail clippers, of course. I have some extra cheapo earplugs sometimes I'll drive by the gun range or I'll stop by the by the woods the forest where I can shoot and I'll go shooting so it's nice to have some of those on me back here we've got a, a roll of gauze uh, let's see here this is the three inch by two and a half yards so that's nice to have and what else back here we've got the this is the uh, titanium peanut lighter and I really like this thing. It's, it's a lot lighter than the stainless steel. Uh, I haven't had too much luck with it holding the fluid in though. It's supposed to have this little o-ring right here, which is supposed to seal it, make it so it doesn't leak the fuel, the fuel but um, it looks like the threads on the cap kind of cut into that o-ring. So it, it holds fuel longer than a regular Zippo, but there it is there, tiny little lighter. <laughs> I love that thing. It's fun to fun to show to people. Tiny little peanut lighter. I have a four gig jump drive there. It's just a cheap little thing. It's got some copies of some personal documents on it, just so I can identify myself. Identify myself. Oh, let's see what else we got in this one. Got a couple of gauze pads here. Just a pair of them. Actually, three of them. Uh, what else? Got a Bic lighter. This is a mini. Uh, this is just as a, you know, a backup type of thing. I may swap that out for something else. I've got some Neosporin spray here. It's pretty useful to have. Uh, when I did Wilderness First Aid, we talked a little bit about Neosporin and other products that use petroleum-based. And uh, as far as I know, this doesn't have any of that, so I thought I'd try it out. But uh, what else? Looks like nothing else in there. I have a length of uh, baling wire. This is just this is very useful. It's got a lot of uses. I've got a little tube of hand sanitizer. Um, I've got some pets, and you know, just in general, it's good to have hand sanitizer. It doesn't last long, as you can see. This one's actually empty because I use it so much. I have to fill this about every few days. So, but it's useful to have. It's very small. I got a little military can opener here. Got a chapstick, Burt's Bees, natural stuff. Again, no petroleum products. So, I don't use this very often. I don't really have a lot of use for it, but every once in a great while, especially riding the Harley, lips will get dried out and crack. So, it's nice to have. I've got some earbuds up here hooked onto the little loop 
See if I can unhook it here while I'm looking through the viewfinder. There we go. And um, this is on a, a Night Eyes Curvy Man. And that is very useful. I never really could carry earbuds very well, but with this little thing I can. I can clip them anywhere, check them in my pocket if I want to. You know, I show videos on the smartphone and I can call up a video and pop this in and listen with somebody if we're, you know, in a restaurant or something. And let's see here. Got a little bandage kit here. Got some uh, alcohol swabs. And I got an array of batteries just in a little Ziploc to help keep them, you know, if the pouch gets wet, they won't get soaked and the adhesive won't work. Got a few knuckle band-aids, a few standard style. Got, I think, one big one on the back here, one big style. So those are nice to have. I have a set of needles in here. And these are really great. I was actually in the office and a button popped off one of my collared shirts. And so I busted out the, the little sewing needle there and grabbed a piece of thread and just quick sewed it back in so you never know if you have gear rip or anything like that. I got a couple of heavy needles in there so it's nice to have and it just doesn't really weigh anything so you know, figure why not throw one of those in there. And this here, this is a, a credit card with some duct tape wrapped on it and it's in a little foil pouch here. It's just tin foil, heavy duty tin foil that was um, tripled over and kind of folded around it so you know, I find that the edges of the duct tape will just attract lint and, and dust and everything. So this just kind of covers it. And tin foil is nice to have. You can use it kind of as like a signal mirror. You could, um, you know, cook on it over a very small fire. You can do a lot of things with tin foil. So that's nice to have. What else? I got some eye drops in here. This is, I don't use this very often. This is again for riding on the bike. Eyes get dried out. Got some eye drops there. And down in the bottom, got some Tylenol. And usually I keep this full. I think I use some of this, but usually I keep it full so that it doesn't rattle. Just a nice little container of it. And I think that's everything for the Maxpedition pouch.